It's finally time to assemble our VR5 engine. We got the block and the head back from the machine shop. Our old parts are laid out. The pistons are taking a bath. Now all I have to do is put it all together. Our piston rings are pretty much the major reason why we ended up with this level of disassembly instead of just throwing chains on it. So I got new rings, these are from Mala. So we have our three piston rings and we wanna check the end gap on each ring. We're gonna go into the cylinder and then we're gonna go all the way almost to the bottom and then flip the ring, the piston were in there. Now I sort of designed, but also did 3D print this little tool. This is gonna square up our piston ring. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the cylinder, we're gonna square up the ring, then we're gonna measure the gap between the ends of the ring. I'm doing it at the top side of the cylinder, otherwise you'd never be able to see what I'm actually doing. We're just gonna lay it right in the middle. All right, so we're at about 0.38 millimeters. Our spec is 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters of gap with a maximum of one one millimeter, which would be a huge ring gap if you were running like 50 pounds of boost, maybe that's okay, but we're not doing any of that. So we're kind of on the higher end of the spec, which makes sense. It's a new ring, but you know, this thing had what, 200,000 kilometers on it, 120,000 miles roughly on it. Uh, so I think we're totally fine. I'm gonna only demo this one. I'm gonna do the rest because we'll be here for like an hour and then we're gonna get all these piston rings cleaned up so we can put them on our pistons.